Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to easily downgrade iOS 14.5.1 down to iOS 14.5 without losing any data. So let me show you quickly on my iPhone 7 here. I am running iOS 14.5.1. By the end of this video, if you have an iPhone uh, which is running iOS 14.5.1, it will now be on iOS 14.5. So just to you know, keep in mind, um, I'm going to be showing you the process. However, I don't want to actually downgrade my phone because I need to make a lot of videos on iOS 14.5.1. So I'll just be showing you the process. Um, there's some very important things to keep out for. So just watch the full thing and let's get started. So you will need a computer. If you don't have a computer, unfortunately, uh, you can't downgrade, uh, sadly. So if you have issues with 14.5.1, uh, I recommend you either update to iOS 14.6 beta using the beta program or just wait for a brand new iOS update to release. Now, if we do have a computer, we're going to head over to the link in the description down below. And it's just ipsw.me if you have any issues with the uh, link in the description. And so we just want to tap on our device. So mine is iPhone 7. So I clicked on iPhone. So right there. So if I go back, iPhone. And you want to scroll down and you see iPhone 7. And we see iPhone 7 GSM and Global. GSM is if you have an American iPhone 7. Global is any other country. So I'm going to use iPhone 7 Global. And we'll just wait for this to load. Now we see signed IPSWs right here. And you can see iOS 14.5 is signed. If iOS 14.5 is in the unsigned IPSW area, that means you are unable to downgrade to iOS 14.5. Now you might be like, well, what if you downloaded iOS 14.5 while it was signed? Uh, you know, how does that work, right? Well, it doesn't matter when you download this IPSW file. What matters is when you're downgrading because there is nothing special about this IPSW from when it's signed to when it's, you know, unsigned. Apple does a server check and it says, is iOS 14.5? Uh, can we allow phones to downgrade? If the answer is yes, it will let you downgrade. If the answer is no, you'll get an error, usually error 3194. So if this is in the unsigned area, unfortunately, you will not be able to downgrade. It's just physically impossible. Um, we've checked my exploit. You can do a dual boot with older iOS versions. If you want to see a video on how to do that, just let me know in the comments and I will uh, make a video on that. But uh, right now, uh, no way to do it. So what we're going to do is iOS 14.5 is signed. So we'll just click on this. And now we'll just click on download. And you can see it's 5 gig. We'll just click on download. And uh, the download will start. So we'll just click on save file and OK. So this is going to take a bit of time. I'm going to actually cancel this because I'm not going to download it. But I'm going to show you what to do once you've downloaded this file. So make sure you plug in your iPhone to the computer, just like this. So is it plugged in? I mean, it's not charging. <laughs> so I'm just going to shove this in properly. And you can see now my phone is charging. If there's any trust pop-ups on the phone, just trust those. And so I'm just going to go into here then our iPhone. And let's give it a little bit. And so what you want to do, you can see iOS 40.5.1. You see what check for update is? If you're on a Windows, by the way, you open up iTunes. On a Mac, you open up Finder. Is where's the check for update? On Mac, you hold the Option key. Hold that down and then left click. On Windows, you hold down Shift and then left click. So, you know, Shift, left click or Option, left click. So we'll just do that. So Option and left click check for update. And now it's going to show uh, allow you to uh, browse the exact... A firmware file you just downloaded. So you see this file where you downloaded earlier? You just want to search for that and just find it. So I'll just search up I, select the firmware, and then it will allow you to downgrade. If there's any errors which show up, again, that means that the uh, the download, uh, uh, the firmware is unsigned. You can see it's very clear this firmware is signed. That means you can restore on iTunes. In the future, this will be an X. So unfortunately, when that happens, you're out of luck. So hopefully this video helped you out. If you did, make sure to smash like, subscribe if you're brand new. See you guys later. Bye-bye.